All right, guys, we're going to go around some odd spots that we maybe didn't know here in Skid Row. <clears throat> odd spots, odd routes, things like that. This is starting me perfectly off right near one, actually. This whole back corner is like, I'm not, like some people use it. Not enough people use it. But you can actually get up onto these. Let's say patched it. You can get up on top of the parking thing here. You can actually get up on top of that little water the ledge thing there as well. But yeah. A lot of people don't use these spots here. But you can actually get up even into here. So yeah, I just, boom. Two piece right off the rip. That'd be kind of ridiculous. But if you need to get a good clear look at these top seconds without really being spotted, do it. Too much. I love this little angle here underneath here because you can actually wall bang through the sled. Slide, not sled, sorry. You can actually wall bang through this slide here, which is actually kind of handy. Somehow, some people don't know about that little spot. This, of course, back here. Trash. Call it trash corner. You guys want to see some other good lines of sight? Overlooking A bomb right here on top of this TV. We're going to get. I oh, can't get back there now. This is a weird spot. When you know you're kind of pinched, like somebody's either coming this way or this way, this little spot right here is actually kind of handy. It catches people off guard a lot because it's such an odd angle. And then from this side, you really, if you're right here, they can't see you. My daughter, Amelia. I feel like commando gloves in this game are way more useful. The fact that you can reload while sprinting to me is huge. I could care less about that little half millisecond. This is why rotating on this map is so huge. This little area right there is nasty. Catches both angles. Somebody's really gotta get you clean off of your blind side. From this side first. Especially if they're coming down this way, because they're not going to be able to see you if you're up here. And then you're able to kind of... I mean, you're not supposed to snake. But trust me, people are going to be snaking. But that little angle right there is the fastest way to get up here. From that side. From this side, of course, there's two different ways. Go here. Get up there that way. This little angle here is so weird, too, to hold for. This allows you to protect a lot of different angles in search and hard point here. Kids are going wild in the background, of course. 
They're, they love Robux. They love watching and play Robux. I got up here. Nah, I don't have an AR all of a sudden. This protects this point better than staying, staying in my opinion, behind there or something. Because you can always jump behind there if you get low. This gives you a higher angle, and a lot of people are not expecting that off angle. AKA shipment 2.0. You're able to play this spot really ratty and help protect your team. You're usually going to get a 3-4 piece almost every time. As long as like nobody floods through top here and bottom, double bottoms and everything all at once. So, these spots you can watch this hill from. Of course, right here. It's a good one. Like I said, you can get up here. I've yet to. Oh, you can get up there. That is ratty. Oh boy, that is ratty. That's another really good angle for that spot. Basically, an even higher angle from farther away. So, for like a sniper angle compared to an AR angle, pretty crazy. All right, guys, that was uh, Scribs' coaching corner for Skid Row. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you learned something. If you learned something, I count it as a win. Um, if you did and you're enjoying this content, please let me know. Uh, like, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, there'll be a lot more coaches' corners coming soon.